Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick fall look. I'm using MAC eyeshadows mostly for the looks. Alrighty, so I guess I just showed you my nails. I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Touch and Soul No Problem and then priming my eyes with the Fiona Styles Invisible Eye Primer. I'm using a silicone sponge to blend in that primer. So now I'm going to take my medium Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to create brightness under my eyes by doing triangle-like shapes and just spreading it on my forehead and my chin area to just bright brighten up my center bleh, brighten up the center of my face and then I'm blending it in with my real technique sponge so now I'm going in with my Tarte Amazonian clay foundation and tan honey deep or tan deep honey I believe it is and then I'm putting that on my silicone sponge and adding a drop of facial oil just so it adds a little bit of moisture to my face and I like to use the silicone sponge to apply it because I find when I put foundation directly on my real technique sponge it tends to absorb my product whereas if I use the silicone sponge it doesn't absorb product so I'm able to spread product evenly without it absorbing in the sponge by the time I blend it out. So now I'm taking my Fiona Styles Translucent Setting Powder in Madison, which is the lighter of the two sh powders I'm going to show you, and I'm just going to bake my under eyes with this powder. Then I'm going to go in with a e.l.f. blush brush, which it's just a tapered smaller brush. And then I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs light filtering contour powder kit, which it's a duo. And I'm going in with a lighter shade and I'm just sweeping off my bake under my eye with that color just so it leaves a brightening effect. So now I'm going in with the darker Fiona Styles Loose Setting Powder and I'm going to set it all over my face. This powder is just a tinge darker than the one I used to bake my face. So I'm just putting that all over my face to set it. <laughs> So now I'm going in with a light pinkish skin tone color to set my eye primer from earlier and I'm just putting that on to use as a base for my shadows. I'm going in with my custom palette that I have there and it's actually those are all shadows from MAC and the first color I'm gonna go in with is soft brown and I'm just gonna use this as a transition shade And then I'm gonna go on with this orangey color. It's called Max Rule, or just called Rule. And I'm just gonna blend that in my crease back and forth. So now I'm going in with Max Coppering. And it's just a nice burnt orangey red 
shimmery color and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and to intensify the look I'm actually going to spray my brush with this DIY setting spray I made. I'm going to take the color red brick, it's just like a matte orange, and I'm going to put that on my outer corners, and then I'm going to go in with Mac Saddle, and it's just a lightish brown color, and I'm just going to mix that in the outer corner, and I'm just going to smoke both of those colors out to tie in the look. I'm just taking a crease brush with nothing on it and I'm just blending out my eyeshadows just so that they look well blended. So now I'm going to go in with brown script and I'm going to use that color on the outer corner to deepen it up and add dimension. It's just a brownish dark reddish color and then I'm also going to go in with Swiss chocolate right after that just to deepen it up. Swiss chocolate is a tinge darker, um, darker and browner I would say than brown script. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth with those two colors. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm just using the color Virgin. It's just a nice white shimmer color. And since the Urban Decay shadow wasn't as bright as I would have liked it to be, I go in here and layer the Aurora Glow Kit color in Luna in my inner corner and I just wet my brush and then I layer that on top of the Urban Decay version to intensify the white. I'm just going in with coppering and lining my lower lash line and then I'm going to just go in and blend the other colors that I use in my look just so it matched the top part portion. Now I'm using my Tarte black gel liner and I'm just lining my upper lash line with this and I'm not going in with a wing I don't usually do wings on my eyes and I'm just setting my liner with a matte black eyeshadow I don't show it in the in the footage but any matte black will do now it's time to finish off the rest of my face I'm going to start off by contouring my cheekbones and I'm using just a tapered real techniques brush and I'm going in with the other color in my Marc Jacobs duo and I'm just contouring my cheeks, my temples, and my nose, and my jawline. Then I'm going to use my Smashbox blush palette. It was from a holiday set last year and I'm just going in with a corally color and kind of like a nude brown blush and mixing them together just so I get more of a natural finish and I'm just going to mix those together and blend those on my cheeks. But any nudish coral will do. Alrighty, now it's time for my favorite part and it's highlighting. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and I'm just using a dual fiber brush to highlight my cheekbones, but whatever highlighter brush you prefer will do. And then over top of that, I'm actually going in with my NYX Strobe of Genius, Genius palette and I'm going to take that yellow gold color. I really wanted to layer these two together because I wanted to see if it would look like the Trophy Wife highlighter from Fenty Beauty. Not quite, it's not quite as glittery, but it achieved the tone of color I wanted 
wanted it to look like so i just went in with the maybelline color the nyx color and then i went back in with a maybelline color to blend everything out and i ended the uh, i ended up actually really liking how it turned out Then I take that trusty DIY setting spray of mine and then I just lather my face in that spray, a ton of sprays, and this just allows my powder makeup to look more luminous and dewy. It takes away the cakiness and yeah, it just gives me a nice finish. And then I'm going in with a deluxe sample of an Urban Decay mascara before I curl my lashes and then I actually line my lower lashes with a black pencil by NARS. It's called Via Veneto. And then I am just fixing my hair here. And then I'm gonna actually curl my lashes after I put a light coat of mascara. It just allows the curl to last longer. I just use a very light coat of mascara. And then I'm gonna use the L'Oreal, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, sorry I was blanking out for a second. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara in very black and it is the waterproof and I just layer that over top of the Urban Decay Mascara. I'm just brushing my brows and then I'm gonna fill in the bald spots. And lastly, I'm going to set with my MAC Clear Brow Gel, and that will be it for the look. I will see you guys in my next video.